was going to say good morning, but that would be too late. So we've just arrived in Glasgow and we're attending the... the there's like loads of stalls, afternoon tea, all that sort of jazz. Um, so we're just going to enter. We're a little bit late because I had a nightmare with my car this morning. Um, I didn't realise I didn't have breakdown cover and after all the crazy snowy weather we've had in the north, I desperately needed it so I've had to sort that out. But anyway, we're here now um, and we're here all weekend so we're really excited to show you around. And um, yeah, we'll catch up with you when we get in there. And this here is our vehicle for the day. <laughs> Getting VIP service to the event. Hey guys and welcome back to another video and I thought I would just do a really chilled, relaxed, um, sit down and talk video and sort of speak the truth a little bit. Now I know um, Lucy's done this video and I just thought that, do you know what, she had a really good point and, and, and sometimes you do have to speak out about things that you're not happy about or things that have made you feel uncomfortable or unhappy um, especially when it's not your fault so at the weekend me and Lucy went to an event and, and I feel like I should name and shame the event but I'm not one for throwing shade so I'm not going to do that um, but we got invited down to this event in Glasgow and basically um, we were supposed to be getting press passes and like a blog of goodie bag there was supposed to be loads of different things there and we um i sort of got to the week before it was going to happen and i thought to myself do you know what these tickets haven't arrived we've booked the hotel we've paid for the hotel and i mean it cost us 70 pound each for like two nights plus the petrol money so it cost us well over like 120 quid or something for like the two night stay which obviously you don't mind paying because um like, it, you're going to go, you're going to have a good time, etc. Um, so, I got to about a week before the event and I thought to myself, do you know what? Nothing's arrived in the post. I haven't had any tickets. The lady said they were going to arrive. I'd emailed this lady about five times, not had any response. So, I thought, do you know what? Shit, I need to, like, do something. Like, I need to ring them. I need to... And obviously... Like, I don't want my, me and Lucy getting stressed out because we're arriving and we've got no tickets and the water letters in. Like, it was just an absolute nightmare. So Lucy said, well, I'll tell you what, let, like, let me ring and see what's going on. Um, and if I don't get anywhere with them, then obviously you give them a ring. So Lucy gave them a ring and um, she said, all right, well, we'll send you some tickets out in the post. I'm sorry if I keep looking away. I'm a little bit uncomfortable talking about this, but I feel like I need to. So anyway, Lucy's tickets arrived and they were actually tickets for one day when we were supposed to get passes for all three days and there weren't even like passes they were literally just like a complimentary ticket which you know what right getting a complimentary ticket to anywhere is like really appreciated it's amazing it's a really good thing and it's nice to be offered such a thing but when you promise press passes like it's not do you know what i mean it's not on so i rang the girl on the phone and she was like um she was a little, to be quite honest, I don't know who the lady on the phone was, but she was a little bit snotty. Um, and I was like, look, um, we're supposed to have had press passes, blah, 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 nothing's came, can you help me out? So she said, look, don't worry, when you turn up, we'll either have complimentary tickets or press passes. And I was like, well, no, we've been told that we get press passes, like, you know is that not what should we, we should get? And she was like, just leave it with me and I'll sort it out for you. The reason the girl's not getting back in touch with you is because she's left. Which for me, that's a red flag anyway, because if that girl's left and you know she's dealing with influencers, you should be answering the emails, you should be checking that account. Or you should have sent out an email, like an automatic email from that account to say, look, if you've got any issues, email this person. So um, that was just an absolute nightmare. So then... We got up on the morning, the Friday of the morning, and I had a nightmare with my car because I didn't have breakdown cover and the weather was horrendous here, like really bad snow. So I was like, shit, like I need to sort my breakdown cover out and then we'll set off. So um, we got set off and I just, the more we went on, the more I was thinking to myself, oh my God, like 
what if we get there and this is just isn't organised? Like, what, what are we going to do? We spent all this money, I drove, like, three and a half hours. What are we going to do? So Lucy was like, don't panic. So we got there, we went to this organiser's office and there was two ladies. There was a lady sat down and a lady stood up and the lady sat down was so lovely. Like, I can't remember her name, but she was really, really nice. Um, and she i said to her oh, look we've come we're bloggers we're supposed to have press passes what have you got you know have you got our tickets for us so she was like oh there's your tickets in that envelope there so i opened them up and they were just complimentary tickets again you know amazing it's still a free ticket and i said oh but we're like we're bloggers do we not get a press pass no we don't do press passes this other woman interrupted this lady no we don't do press passes she was so i've never met in fact I think I've met one other person in my life that's been so rude to me um, and impolite and it just was out of order. So um, I was just a bit like, all right then, whatever. Um, so me and Lucy walked out and I was like, do you think she was rude? And she was like, yeah, like I thought, I thought, you know, they've invited us. There's no need to be rude to us when you've invited us to an event. Like at the end of the day, if you don't want us there, don't invite us. Like it's not as if, you know, we've just turned up, you've invited us. So anyway, moving on from that, um, so we goes out, we get to the event and um, I started looking around and I thought to myself like this particular event, the whole like eth like the whole like thing behind it is the fact that it's like a fun day out and that there's supposed to be like afternoon tea, there's supposed to be like loads of different things and I'm looking and I'm thinking, I said to Lucy, I wonder if we get afternoon tea because like surely we're supposed to enjoy the whole experience because they want us to provide footage they want us to vlog about it so surely like we'll get afternoon tea anyway um no we didn't we got nothing like i said to lucy i'm just gonna go and query it with the girl in the office again so we walked back in and this like really rude lady was there again and i said oh look um are we entitled to afternoon tea so she turned around and she went no you're entitled to 35 percent off and I went, oh, just like, I thought with us being bloggers, no, bloggers are the same, they get 35% off. And she just like shut me down before I could even finish my sentence. And I thought that's so rude, like, she wasn't interested at all, she didn't want to know us. It was almost like they didn't want us there. So I walked out and I was like, do you know what, I'm never coming to this event again. Like, the way they've gone on with us is absolutely ridiculous. There was no um, goodie bags, there was no blogger lounge, there was no, um, like, everything we'd been promised, basically, there was nothing. So we got a goodie bag with our um, actual ticket and the goodie bag was like the worst goodie bag of any event I've ever been to. I had like tour separators in it, I had a packet of crisps, a little grey's box, a couple of nail bags. It was horrendous. I've never known anything like it in my life. Um, and I was just really disappointed. I think if you were a paying customer, like I would have been disappointed if that was my goodie bag. Anyway, and um, for me everyone was just sorry to put it like this because i don't like to swear a lot on my channel but everyone was just pissed up everyone was just drunk so yeah it was basically one that's the only way i can describe it is people getting absolutely smashed drunk trolleyed um and yeah great if you're there to have fun enjoy yourself but when you're there for an event i was a bit like i mean like um, I, like Lucy mentioned in, in her video we were talking it, it was fantastic for brands because there was a lot of brands we got to revisit from Liverpool um, and I've got a lot of exciting things coming your way from those brands um, but like there was like girls rhyme each other after they passed out on the floor there was literally girls passed out there were like the prices for drinks and things which I know it's an event but like £2.50 for a bottle of cork was just like and it wasn't even Coca-Cola, it was like Bars Coke, which in the UK is like a pound. I mean, it might be a big thing in um, Scotland, but it's not that in the UK. Um, I was just, I'm just pissed off. And I, to be quite honest, I don't like to rant, I don't like to moan, I don't like to swear and get angry. But sometimes I just think that it, it, this is me, this is me being raw, this is me telling you my feelings and how I felt about the whole event. And... I was just upset by the way they went on with us when they invited us, like it's not fair, like don't invite me if you're not interested, like if you don't want to know and there was no other influences there, which makes no sense to me. I mean in the end, um, if it wasn't for the brands that were there that we got to revisit and like the new brands we met, phew, I don't know what we'd have done because there was literally like, I mean at the end of the day, yeah, you don't necessarily go for, you go to, you do go to communicate with the brands but 
you want the PR people that are running the event to be nice to you. I mean, come on, you've invited me. Like, don't be rude to me. Don't be rude. And it pays nothing to be polite to people. Yeah, you might be stressed out, but these events, they promise people unrealistic things. I mean, like, they promise that there was 20... They promised the brand. They were, they were like fuming all the brands they promised them 25,000 people in footfall there wasn't 25,000 people no way in a million years so obviously that means that they've lost a lot of money because they're transporting all their goods don't lie to people don't lie to people be honest with people honesty is the best policy and honesty gets you everywhere in life lying to people you get found out and it pisses people off when it doesn't happen and it's not right so don't lie um, anyway, that is my rant over. Um, I hope I never come across an experience like this again. And luckily, I had my best friend Lucy. Like, I had her there to support me because if she hadn't have been there, I don't know what we like. I really don't know what we would have done. Like, we really helped each other through it. Like, we just like I've never met anyone like Lucy. And me and Lucy, to be quite honest, we don't see each other enough, but we bounce off each other. We really do. And our conversations just flow, and we just get each other. We really do. We just get each other. And Considering we've only known each other for a small amount of time, we we feel comfortable around each other, which is it's it's odd, but I love her, I really do, and and I love the fact she was there. Like, anyway, guys, I'm I'm waiting on now because I didn't want I don't want to edit this. I don't want to edit it. I want it to be raw. I want it to be real. I want it to be how I feel. Um, and yeah, so. Ending on that note, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I'm really sorry that it was a bit of a rant, but I just wanted to let you know the truth about that and I needed to get it off my chest. So anyway, thanks for watching. Mwah.